Welcome to the Creative Hugsmith. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a blueprint effect in a Fendi photo. A blueprint is a reproduction of a technical drawing or engineering drawing. Blueprints were created by Sir John Herschel in 1842 and they were used in construction. This process used white lines on a blue background. Today, blueprints refer to any type of floor plan and is used by architects, engineers, and drafters to help them visualize their designs and inventions. Also, instead of using actual paper like Sir John, most blueprints are created in a computer-aided design software such as AutoCAD or SolidWorks. First, go to File New, select Web, then choose Full HD 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels, and hit Create. Second, grab the Flood Fill tool from the Tools panel. Take the tool and click on the document. A new pixel layer will be added to the Layers panel and it will be filled with white. With the pixel layer selected, select the FX icon in the Layers panel. Check the Gradient Overlay box. Set the Blend Mode to Normal. Type to Radial. Next, go to the Gradient. Select the white color stop and go to Color. Then, go to the RGB hex sliders and type the following hex code number. 004892. After that, select the black color. Go to Color and type the following hex code. 01288C. Then go to the angle and set it to 160 degrees. Now grab the rectangle tool from the tools panel and draw a rectangle on the document. Draw the rectangle somewhere close to the edge of the document, then make sure it's in the center of the document. With the rectangle still selected, press Shift and X to switch the fill color of the rectangle to the stroke color, which is black. Then go to the context toolbar and go to the stroke. Set the stroke to three points. Next, grab the rectangle tool again. Draw a skinny long vertical rectangle. I made the rectangle two pixels by 2,427 pixels. In the swatches panel, get rid of the stroke color and set the fill color of the rectangle to white. Now press Ctrl and J to duplicate the rectangle. Hold Shift and drag the duplicated rectangle slightly to the right. With the duplicated rectangle still selected, press Ctrl and J multiple times to make more duplicates of the rectangle until you reach the right side of the document. In the Layers panel, select all of the duplicated rectangles. Then press Ctrl and J to duplicate all of the rectangles. Hold Shift and rotate the duplicated rectangles to negative 90 degrees. These duplicated rectangles are for the grid of the blueprint. After that, go to the Layers panel and select all the duplicated rectangles. Then drag the duplicated rectangles into the black rectangle layer. This will act as a clipping mask for the grid. Now select the rectangle. In the Layers panel, set the blend mode of the rectangle to screen. With the rectangle selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the rectangle. Get rid of the duplicated rectangles inside of the bigger rectangle. Hold Ctrl and Shift and make the duplicated rectangle smaller. Go to the blueprint link in the description. Right click on the image and click Save Image As and save the image. Now go back to Affinity Photo. Then go to File Open and select the blueprint of the car. It'll open in a new tab. Grab the rectangular marquee tool from the tools panel. Make a selection of the image. I excluded the bottom part of the image because I didn't want to use it in the blueprint. Press Ctrl and C to copy the image. Then go to the blueprint document and press Ctrl and V to paste the image. In the transform panel, turn on the lock aspect ratio, then resize the image. With the car image still selected, Go to the Layers panel and set the blend mode of this layer to screen. Next, go to the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the Invert Adjustment. Drag the adjustment inside of the car layer. Grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel and type the name of the car, which is Audi RS5. 
Next, go to the font family and set the font of the text to Roboto Regular. Place the text at the bottom left of the document. Resize the font if you need to. Let's increase the intensity of the white lines of the car blueprint. In the Layers panel, click the Adjustments icon and select the Levels Adjustment. Drag the adjustment into the car layer. Then, set the white level to 85%. Now, let's add some texture to this to make the blueprint effect look more realistic. This part is optional. This will give a slight, worn look to the blueprint. Go to the texture link in the description. Right click on it and click Save Image As to save it. In Affinity Photo, go to File, Place and select the texture image. Hold Shift and stretch the image across the document. Next, go to the Layers panel and change the Blend Mode to Divide. Then, lower the opacity of the layer to 40%. And this is how to create a blueprint effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.